Welcome back to the Brampton Center for Sports and Family Entertainment. A 2-2 draw after one period of play. Ice Dogs and the Battalion going head-to-head. -head. And joining me up in the booth is uh, Patrick O'Sullivan. And Patrick, always fun to play the Crosstown Rivals, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a good rivalry, and it started last year. And since they changed the divisions, there's, you know, a few more games this year. So it's always fun, and I wish I was out there. Makes your division very tough, though, with Toronto, Barry, the Battalion, Ice Dogs. And, well, Sudbury's having a tough season, but still, it's a very tight division. For sure. It's, it's definitely a strong division, and, uh, you know, they, they give us a lot of competition. Um, you know, we're going to have to come up strong here to, to make the playoffs. Um, you know, we got to battle Kingston there in the other division, but yeah. still the same conference, so there's going to be some tight games coming up. Well, you just mentioned the Kingston Frontenacs and uh, dropped a hard-fought 3 nothing decision to the Frontenacs, but you guys had three games that I think Coach Ledzik was expecting four or maybe even six points out of, and that was Saginaw as well as uh, Kingston and Sudbury, and you guys came out 1-1-1 one, one, and one in that. What are your thoughts on that three-game span? Um, you know, it's just a case of tough breaks, I guess. I wasn't here for two of the games, but, you know, from what I heard, um, you know, we all played the teams and, and stuff like that. We had to come back against Sudbury late in the third, but, yeah. um, you know, the effort's there, and there's just some things we need to clean up, uh, you know, like our own end and, and just different situations. But, uh, you know, the effort's there, and that's that's a good thing. Has this team come together? Has Coach Ludzik been able to bring this team together as a whole cohesive unit? I think so. Um, you know, there's been some, some steps taken in the right direction recently, and uh, we're really going to have to come together here the last 28 games if we, uh, we want to make a push here to make the playoffs. Well, we talk about that last 28 games, and, and what, in your mind, what do you have to do to make the playoffs? Oh, I mean, I'm, winning hockey games, obviously, yeah, is the big sure. key, but... But, uh, you know, guys like myself and Greg Decina, Dan Siska, um, you know, we're leaders of this team offensively, and we're going to have to step up and, and uh, really, really contribute these last few games here. We're going to be counted on quite a bit, um, you know, now more than ever, and so we, reali we realize that, and we're just going to have to come out and play play like we know we can. Well, your forwards are always uh, among the elite forwards in the league, but the knock against the Mississauga forwards is that they, they sometimes are, are uh, unable to be found inside their own zone on the defensive chores. <laughs> is that true? Um, well, I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, I guess that's something that people like to say about skilled players. Um, but, uh, you know, we realize we have to play, you know, well on our own end, and yeah. that's how we can create chances is by playing well defensively and turn the puck around and go back the other way can't hurt to have a guy like Miguel Beaudry stopping pucks for you as well. No, definitely. He's played great for us all year and, you know, being an overage goalie, he's got a lot of experience and he's a high high first round draft pick to this league. So, you know, he's a he's a wise veteran player. Let me change the subject on you for one second and we're going to talk about equipment. I just want to talk about Synergy hockey sticks because uh, not just Synergy, but the full one piece hockey sticks that are from Mission M1. I mean, are they as good as everyone says? Well, you know, uh, it depends, I guess. Uh, you know, if if you're if you're a fairly good player, they're going to help you out quite a bit. Um, but if you're just starting to play hockey, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't pay the money for that stick. Uh, yeah. But you know, you got to have fairly soft hands to use them. The puck tends to bounce off them a little bit more than it than say a wooden wooden blade or a wooden stick. But um, you know, they can increase your shot. And, uh, you know, I certainly like them. Do you have the feel that you would have with a regular wood stick? Even the old even the old uh, aluminum sticks, that kind of, you know? Yeah, well, I, I, I certainly do. But, you know, that's it, I guess different people have different preferences. But, uh, you know, I've gotten used to it. I've used it for the last two years. So, um, But, you know, you take a guy like Greg Jacina on my team, you know, he doesn't like it at all and he can't use it. So, you know, it just depends on the, on the person, I guess, and the person and the player. And we saw a beautiful goal from Jacina in the first period. What are your thoughts on the first period of play here? Uh, as far as it's a 2-2 tie and you guys took the lead twice, you got to get the lead and keep it. You guys seem to be able to get the lead a lot, but uh, seem to give it back and are, are willing to give it up. Yeah, you know, well, there's, you know, it was a good first period. I think both teams played well, uh, but uh, we definitely have to work on keeping our leads and, and you know, not get all excited just because we have a lead. Yeah. Um, we've got to stay relaxed and, and just play our game. But, uh, you know, it was a good period, and I think both teams are playing well. Now let's talk about the World Junior Championships. That's got to be a big thing for your in your young hockey career. Oh, for sure. Definitely, you know, just to be named to that team as a, as a young player. I mean, I could get the chance to play in, in three tournaments. You know, this was just my first yeah. one. And it was just there for, uh, you know, a good learning experience and learning from, from uh, some of the veteran guys there, like Eric Nystrom and, uh, you know, Ryan Whitney, high, high draft picks and... I gotta ask you though, was there a difference between, or did you notice a difference in the style of hockey between the NCAA players and yourself going down as an OHLer? Well, you know, they certainly have, you know, the same rules as the international play. You know, there's no red line, so some of those guys are used to that, and then, and that took me, uh, you know, a couple of games to get used to. But 
Um, you know, I think I don't have to say it, but I, if there's anyone be able to adjust to that, it'd be myself. So <laughs> uh, it wasn't too tough to get used to. Yeah. Now we'll talk about the whole tournament, the tournament on a whole, and I'm talking about things outside the rink. What was it like? Uh, um, did you go see any other games? Were you guys, uh, did you guys hang out as a team? What yeah, was it for like? sure. It was, it was a really, really neat experience. Uh, we were there together for three and a half weeks, and uh, there's a, you know a lot of team bonding, and it was pretty much our family for that time. We were gone over Christmas, of course, and, and New Year's, and. We really uh, came close as a team, and you know it was kind of tough to leave those guys, but yeah. um, you know it was certainly a fun tournament, and we got to hang out together and, and go to games, and and uh, it was just a fun experience all around. Able to make some friendships that'll last you a lifetime as well. For, for sure, definitely. Anytime you play in a tournament like that, it, it brings the guys really close, and and uh, to suffer that heartbreaking loss to Canada by one goal, it uh, you know it really it really brings together. I'll tell you something. Um, Ice Dog fans are happy to see you back in the lineup, but you're not in the lineup tonight. Now that's because of a suspension. You're not hurt, so we got to tell people that you're not hurt. So that's the good thing. Um, when are you going to be back in the lineup? Uh, on Sunday against Oshawa. I got, uh, you know, I only got one game for for my suspension, so I guess that's good. Um, you know, that's just something that I, I can't do is take penalties that'll cause cause you know even a minor penalty is bad to take, but especially a big one that might you know get a get a get a chance for me to get suspended or anything like that. And that game will be right here on OHL primetime on Roger Sports throughout Mississauga. Patrick, thanks for joining us. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Patrick O'Sullivan of the Mississauga Ice Dogs. We're coming back with more of our first intermission on OHL Primetime. Stay with us. Good. Appreciate it. Cool. Thanks.